Sors ça. Oh, on est ici. Please sit down. Thank you. Yes. Um, how may I help you? My name is Chuku. His Excellency the Governor asked me to see you in respect of the petition I wrote to you. He says you've been expecting me. Oh, yes. So you are the man? Yes. All right. Are you ready to go with the boys now? More than ready, Commissioner. Hold on. Yes, um, get me the Supreme Opo. Now. This is Alpha Zulu to all units. Alpha Zulu to all units calling. Emergency red alert. Maintain calls to Ajiko Shrine. I repeat, maintain calls to Ajiko Shrine. Over and out. Stella. Ma, I want that take me five minutes. Yes, ma.
have brought you your property. We have brought you your food. We have brought you your booty. We shall continue to bring them as long as they lie to you. Oh, oh, oh. Gentlemen, you are all under arrest. I am Superman Paul Haruna from the State Command Headquarters. The whole place is surrounded by my men. I will not hesitate to shoot if you move. On your own interest, stay where you are. Sit on the floor and place your hands on your head. Sit on the floor and place your hands on your head. Sit down. No part.
nai ezo gugu eke ne kwange odi ke we ga selende na no no feba ke de fe na me who is this uh, i am ezo gugu 2 and he is ezo gugu 1 the main custodian of the ogugu shrine ajiko now ask him what are all these corpses and all these stolen properties lying all over the place? What are they doing here? Oh, see. Kedife Aiji Ozu Nangongo Nene Deba Neme. Guiana Ozu Nangongo Nene Deba Bundenguli Yasi Oguguwe Buefa. Onye obu na anguli yasi ogugubu ya Ngungu ni no nyafu nwelo No uzu nyafu buzi ngogugu He says The dead people are victim the deity killed For swearing falsely to it And these are all the belongings We have seen in littered all over the forest are their properties the deity always request for their bodies and properties to be brought to it which deity Ogugumiri Ajiko what are you people really practicing here our culture the culture of our people the culture of our land we are obeying the deities bequeathed to us by our ancestors and there's nothing wrong with it Whoa. You think so? Why did those two priests shift priests? Why did they run away? They must have been frightened by your presence. Frightened? Why should a whole servant of a strong and powerful deity as big as this be frightened by just an ordinary policeman? Listen to me. It's pure guilty conscience. Because a clear conscience fears no fool. It then means you people have some illegalities that you people are doing here. I have finished with you for the meantime. Who we'll come back? Inspector, call the headquarters for backup immediately. Yes, sir. Mr. Chukum, please excuse me. So, um, Mr. Chukum. Yes. What type of abomination is this? Hmm. Well, officer, it's a long story. Um, it's so obvious that um, the backup from headquarters may not be here in the next one. I can as well listen to it all. Well, officer, in the olden times, the Igbo communities had deities which they turned to for arbitration, protection, and peaceful coexistence of members of individual families. It was the same functions that this Ogu deity performed for the Ajiko communities, which had its own branch of the Ogu deity. And every child born here automatically becomes a member of a particular deity, of a particular family. Because, officer, different clans had different deities. But Ogugumiri appears to be the strongest and the most popular because of the way it works.
What are you doing on my land? What manner of salutation is that? Eh? Mm. And by the way, which land is yours? This land that my father gave to me before he died? Your father gave you this land? Yes. You? My father gave this land to me. Which hopeless father that gave you the land? Eh? Who is hopeless? Your father. Are you insulting my father? Mm. Eh? I will show you. Stop! What kind of devil is coming to the two of you? This one has put a close to yourself. What is the son of it? What kind of devil is coming to the two of you? Mazeke, thank God you came along. I caught him on my land, walking on my land, and he decided to, 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 he called my father hopeless and he's claiming this land as his own. You, you, you see, just in this thing I've said now, does it warrant you chasing this man about to cut him with a uh, knife? Does it, does it warrant? Okay, wait, let me have this. Let me have this. Can both of you now tell me who owns this land? This land is mine. My father gave it to me before he died. My second is life. It is my land, is passed to me from generations. You are a liar. This land is mine. Shut up, my father you gave it to me. Thief for you, are you are a thief. thief. You have been born on this land. And everybody in this village knows I've been born on this land. Nobody knows. Let me see you again. Okay, let me see you. You see it? Okay, it's okay. It was okay. 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 okay, thief. As it is now, I can understand that. I cannot in any way help you in resolving this land matter. Do you know what I would suggest to both of you now? Huh? <laughs> eh? <laughs> Both of you have to go to Ogubumiri uh -huh. Shrine uh -huh. hmm? And sort yourselves out there uh -huh. okay. This is my own fair advice so My own fair suggestion If both of you like, kill yourselves Look at the knives, use them on yourself I have advice to This is my own elderly advice I am going Thank you, Thank you. Right here, kill yourselves I have just said what I want to say Land Okay, 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 George. Okay, if it is mine or it is yours, we shall see. I got on your idiot like you. Just thank your God. Mistake has saved you today. I've done sent you to your forefathers. <laughs> Who is the owner of the land in question? Ezogu. The land is mine. My father gave it to me before he died. Ezogu, it is a lie. The land is mine. My father told me that it belongs to our ancestors. I warn both of you that Ogugu oh, will keep the person that is lying between the two of you. For the last time, I ask again. Who owns the land? The land is mine. The land is mine. It is my land. My own land. It belongs to me. The land is mine. Are both of you indigenous of Ajiko? Yes, we are. We are. What is your name? Mazobi. Mazobi. Come forward. Remove your cap. Say this or four and swear to your honesty. And the person that is lying amongst you, let Ogugu strike him dead. I swear by Ogugu that the land in contention is mine. If I lie, may Ogugu strike me dead. Go and sit down. What is your name? Uh, uh, my name is Mazi Ekelon. Mazi Ekelon. Step forward. Uh, Remove your cap. Take this off and swear to your honesty. And the person that is lying amongst you. 
Let Ogugu strike him dead. I swear by Ogugu that the land is mine. May Ogugu strike me dead if I am lying. You may go now. You will hear from Ogugu very soon. Here, Bunam. Is that the man? Yes, this is the man. His name is Obika. Obika! You are welcome to Ogugu Mere Shrine. Imela. Here, Bunam. Yes, Ogugu. Repeat exactly what you came to report to me before. All right. My family and the family of Obika are contracting a marriage for my son to marry his daughter. But just as soon as we finish paying the dowry of his daughter, this Obika gave his daughter away to another man in marriage. That is why I have brought him to, uh, uh, to the shrine. Mazi Obika, Ezogu, is it true? Um, yes, Ezogu, I will not lie. It is very true. He paid the bride price on my daughter. It happened that after he paid the bride price on my daughter, uh, uh, um, I discovered that my daughter was pregnant for another man. You know the plan children of nowadays play. So, Ezogu, I felt it was abominable for me to give another man seat to his son, Mbani, to Fiakwa. Iyebunam. Ezogu. Have you had his explanation? Uh, I've had it. What do you want? <coughs> Ezogu. Let him repay back my bread price. I cannot lose two things at the same time. Obika. Ezogu. Are you here? I've had, I've had him, Ezogu. I agree. I will pay back his bride price. Only that um, I don't have it now. When will you return it? Um, Ezogu, you know that um, Okwego, I know as I also say so. But let me think. Um, I will pay him back in three months' time. Iyebunam. Ezogu. Obika says that he will return your bride price in three months' time. It is not his fault that his daughter got pregnant for another man. And he followed it up, which is morally right. I accept his three months grace. Is it acceptable to you also? As a woman. Three months. <coughs> well, since you have said so, I will accept it. So be it. I do not want this matter to be mentioned anywhere in the land of Majiko. If you brought anything for Obugu, you may drop it on the ground and go.
What is it now? Papa! 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 Papa, what is it now? Papa! Young lady, repeat exactly what you told me before. It's so I really don't know. We were on our way to the market when all of a sudden he stopped and fell down. When I inquired to find out what happened, I discovered that he has died and dried up like this smoked fish. <laughs> Ezogugu, what she has just said is exactly what happened. When I heard that her late father, Mazobi and Maze Kelono, swore an oath before Ogugu, I decided to bring her along to meet you so we can find a solution to this problem. Young lady, the way your father died shows clearly that the deity killed him. Therefore, according to the requirements of Ogugu, everything he had in his lifetime must be brought to the shrine. But first, you must bring a turtle dove, one white ram, some calories, and seven pennies to appease the deity. Afterwards, you must bring his dead body here, for it belongs to the deity. Failure to do all this, the deity will continue killing members of your family. You may go. And I want to it will be an anti-so. I was made to believe originally that the deity had such powers. How true is that? I do not know for sure now, but it is obvious that somewhere along the line, the activities of the shrine became bastardized to enrich some frosters and criminals. In what way? Apparently, some form of voodoo and black magic started, started going hand in hand with the criminal and fraudulent practices in the shrines. How did the shrine become criminal and fraudulent? Officer. You must have realized that Ogugu had his peculiarities, which included demanding for the properties of his victims. Yes, yes, I do realize that. Good. That is what obviously fueled the greed of the priests and the assistants. Consequently, the shrines developed into a full-time cult, offering arbitration between its members, protection from enemies, and selling death. Either way. You, you, you mean it became a cult as people joined? Yes, officer. People joined and took oath of English. Jesus Christ! Okongu. Naboda. Okongu. What is the problem? You have been unusually gentle since you came in. You are not sounding like yourself. What is the problem with you? 
you remember some time ago some church people came and removed Obugu masks from the shrine after some powerful prayers do you remember so I'm afraid that it may have discredited the shrine and affected the powers of the deity what makes you think so mm. even the chief priest as Obugu mentioned the other day that he fears those prayer warriors have desecrated the shrine with their prayers. Okungu. Okungu, listen to me. We are Ogugu, and Ogugu is us. As long as we are on the ground, Ogugu will remain potent and powerful. Why do you bother yourself with the prayers of all these so-called church people? What can their prayer do to Ogugu? Ogugu is powerful and will remain safe. Don't bother yourself with all these prayers and all this church thing they, they talk about. What can change Ogugu? What can change the power of Ogugu? Nothing. Let them pray from heaven to earth. Ogugu still remains Ogugu. Ah. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> as for the marks, I have bought some new marks. Okay. Okay? And with the reorganization going on now, Ogugu will come out to be even more powerful than ever. Are you are you sure? Are you not sure yourself? Hmm. Eh? Hmm. Okungu, I'm asking, are you not sure of yourself? With all the wealth around you, are you not sure? You have been able to build two houses here in the village. You have about five buses and one car running for you in the city. You've been able to send two of your children abroad and they're doing well. You have a home here in the village, not just a house, a home. Oh, <laughs> thanks to Ogugu. Just because you are the servant of Ogugu, oh, you've been able nah. to get all this. And you are still asking, <laughs> are you not sure? <laughs> you see, I don't have any problem. But you see, the question is, are the people going to be convinced? That is it. Okungu. Conviction is a matter of semantics. An exotic woman is not necessarily a beautiful woman. But they both appeal to men. We will continue to make Okungu appealing to the people. And that is what matters. What has that got to do with the job at hand? Subterfuge. Simple. If evil appears to be evil, it will lose its mystery. But as long as we're on the ground, here, we will continue to make Ogugu appealing to the people. And as long as Ogugu appeal to the people, we will continue to win new members. And as long as we win new members, Ogugu will still remain Ogugu, <laughs> potent and powerful. Oh, Buddha. You know what? You are simply a criminal. <laughs> no. I am unusual, very unusual, and I see clearly, more clearly than all of you. That's the difference. In fact, I don't understand you anymore. Chief Omego, do you think I am a small boy? Why don't you stop this prank and give me my own share of this deal? And what is your share of the deal? We agreed on 50-50, Chief Omego, and even if it is 50-50, 50, we agreed. How come you suddenly become so greedy? I sponsored this deal. I sat the job mainly. Even I used all my resources. You only provided your content. And now I am sharing it 65, 35%. You are not happy? Omega, how do you want me to be happy? Tell me. How do you want me to be happy when you are reneging on the agreement I had with you before this deal? Chief Omega. I still stand by the agreement I had with you. Oh, and you are wasting my time. If you are not in agreement with my sharing formula, then do your worst. I will not share it equally with you. Chief Omego, is that meant to be a threat? Call it whatever you like. It's okay. I accept the challenge. Uh, uh, 
What did you say is your name? My name is AZC. Go ahead, we are listening. I am an aluminium dealer in Aba. In September last year, one of my customers came and bought aluminium products from me on credit for a house he was building. Now, when it is time for him to pay me, he has denied being indebted to me. Are you sure you are telling us the truth? Nothing but the truth. Okungu. As a woman. You have heard the complaint of this man. Yes. Enter it into the report. And write to this man in question. Inviting him to come and answer for himself. Ah. All right. Uh, what is this man's name? His name is Onyeka. How much is being owed? 400,000 Naira. How much has he already paid? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. All right. You will pay the sum of 100,000 Naira to enable us reach this Onyeka. That is not a problem. Okay. You will leave with us your phone number, your contact address, one picture of Onyeka, and his contact address. We will reach you when we finish with him. It's all right. This is the money. This is my complimentary card, which contains my contact address and telephone numbers. Mm -hmm. This is Onyeka's picture. Right. Okay, you may go now. Like I said earlier, we will reach you when we finish with him. Thanks so much, sir. Thank you. This is my fifth year I've served him. And now it's time for my freedom. You cannot believe that my master is settling me with only three million naira instead of five that we agreed. Now, uh, hold on. You mean there was an agreement for five million naira before you joined him? Mm -hmm. And now he's paying you three million naira? Wow! No, that's too bad. That's too bad. But come to think of it, people are really throwing surprises by the day. This is exactly the same problem I'm having with Chief Omega. Chief Omega? Yes. What happened? The same insincerity. We did a business together. It is now time for him to pay me and he's trying to tell me that I'm a fool. Chimeke. This is exactly what brings about assassination in this country. <laughs> no, you see, I promised myself something. I'm not going to soil my hand with anybody's blood. We all are from the same mother earth. But I'm planning something. Tomorrow, I'm going to report this case to Gugu. And if you don't mind, you can join me. Uh, I, I don't mind. But my master is not from Achiko. He's from Iyi. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. 
the most important thing here is when Obudu calls, everybody must answer. Utena, go home and sleep. Think about what I've just told you. If you are comfortable with it, come here this evening, then we'll finalize the whole thing. Well, if Ogubu is going to solve my problem, why not? I will come to your house this evening. Oh, We all know Chief Omego. How much did you say is owing you? He's owing me two million naira. Two million. How did this money come about? Yes. There is this business we did together. And we were meant to share the proceeds equally. Instead of Omega to pay me what is due to me, he has decided to cheat on me. And that is why I have decided to bring the matter to Google. And your share is two million naira? Yes. Uchenna, what is your complaint? <coughs> Ezo Google. it is my master. Your master? What is the name of this, your master? Chief Ezebe Okoli. Go ahead, what has he done? I have finished serving him, but he has refused to settle me like we initially agreed. Hmm. And how much did both of you agree initially for him to settle you? Five million naira. Hmm. And how much has he agreed to settle you with now? Three million. How much have you gotten from him? Nothing. Nothing at all. Uh, Do both of you know that Ogugu kills anybody who likes to eat? Yes, yes. yes. Now, you people will swear an oath by this offer that whatever you have said here is the truth. Okongu, you will write a letter inviting Chief Omego uh -huh. and Chief Ezebe Okoli uh -huh. to come and answer for themselves. They must come to Okongu and answer for themselves. Uchenna, stand up there. Step forward. Remove your cap. Swear by this offer that whatever you have said here is the truth and nothing but the truth. I, Uchenna Uzochuku, swear this day by Ogugu that all I've said is nothing but the truth. And if I lie, let Ogugu strike me dead. Ungozi Brother. 
Never. Who did you say brought this letter? One man. He said it's from Mugukumiri or so. And when was this? Yesterday when you had left for the office. Ngozi, you mean this letter was brought since yesterday and you're just giving it to me now? Sorry, brother, I forgot. Do it for yourself and get out of my sight! I said get out of my sight! What is Okugu summoning me for now? I know Owa has gone there to report to me. Well, well, well. Anyway, I, I'll go when I'm less busy. I, I just can't leave my business and start rushing down to the east right now. Are you on Yeka? Yes, I am. As he says, you are owing him 400,000. Is that true? No, he's lying. Hey! Onyeka, don't lie on. Don't lie on. <laughs> Ogugu will kill you if you lie to eat. Are you ready to swear an oath that you don't owe AZC any money? Yes, I'm ready to swear. So shall it be. Onyeka, take this offer and swear by it that you are not owing is this any money? Okongu. Ezogu. Tell him what to do. Now raise your foot up. And repeat after me. I. I. Onyeka. Onyeka. Swear by Ogugu this day. Swear by Ogugu this day. That I do not owe SCC any money. That I do not owe SCC any money. And if I lie. And if I lie. May Ogugu strike me dead. May Ogugu strike me dead. Now ah. hit the offer on your chest. Ezo, mm. it is done. And so shall it be. Let me have it. You may bid go. Who are you? Are you Chief Ezebe? Yes. This letter is for you. What is this? Your boy, Uchenna, has brought your case before the Wumri Shrine. That is why you are being invited to come and answer for yourself. Ogugu? Yes. And uh, what did Uchenna say I did to him? Well, he, he says you refused to settle him after you two earlier agreed. That boy is ungrateful. Uchenna is an ingrate! What? Yes, it is true. I agreed to settle him with five million naira, but with a condition attached. And that condition was that if he acquires any property in the course of his service to me, such as car, house, land, machine, and whatever, I will reduce it to three million. And we both agreed. I mean, since I won't be collecting those things back for him. Now that Uchena is leaving me, that boy is worth over 10 million, both in assets and cash. So where have I gone wrong? Where? Well, Chief, these are things you have to come and explain to Ogugu. My friend, I have just explained to you as a human being because you are in my house. I want you to know that I do not believe in Ogugu. And so, 
I am not going to Ogugu. Well, may I remind you, Chief, that refusal to answer Ogugu's call has deadly consequences. To hell with you and that Ogugu. If I get out. Out of my house! Out! Go! Get out! <laughs> Did you hear that rubbish? Now what for that boy you? So he could go to such ridiculous extents. Those are things that happen these days. That boy is really stupid. Uchenna is very stupid. How could Uchenna go fetish for you? Don't worry, my dear. I know how to deal with that boy. Your bag, put your bag there. <clears throat> Ezogu, I greet you. You're welcome. What can I do for you? Uh, Ezogu, I bring this man who wants to see you. Uba, go in there and see you. <clears throat> My friend, this is not where I asked you to bring me to. Look, I said you should take me to that place where the deity is very big, where they have coffins and human skulls scattered all over the place. Which can I talk to that one? You say I should bring you to the shrine. I don't tell you come. Go see his Look, I said you should take me to that place where the deity is very powerful. Where if it kills you, eh? Obu no Bogu, your corpse must be brought to it. You mean the main Ogugu shrine? Bah. Why you don't talk like that? You for tell me. You don't see that junction where you meet me, everybody. All these Okada people, everybody gets the old shrine where they carry old people go. Me, now here they bring my own customer. Which can't talk with that one. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, anyway. If you want me, I take you to the bush, right? Yes. You will double my money. Eh, eh. Eh, all right, I don't mind. No problem. I will double, double your money. Plus double. Look, just take me there. I will double your money. Uh, you should have said that. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you should. Okay. Uh, so, I will come back and see you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. 
Allah. can we do for you? One of my business partners is owing me for the goods I supplied him. He has refused to pay me back my money for four months now. After selling the goods, he said he did not make profit. Therefore, he won't pay me. I see. How much is he owing you? 20,000 Naira. Twenty thousand naira. Yes, twenty thousand. And you want Ogugu to punish him for you? Uh, uh, yes, if he doesn't pay me. Uh, in fact, I don't want Ogugu to just punish him. Mm. I want to see his call among those ones that are outside there. <laughs> what kind of business does he do? He has a small butcher shop by the roadside of Upper Iweka. He says Okreka. Okay, He sells okrika. Yes, that is what I said too. Uh, but my own is grade one. Well, young man, yes. the chief priest is not here to attend to you. He will. You will come, say, next week, so that we can talk to him to present your case to Ogugu. Uh -huh. Next week, eh? The chief priest will present my case to Ogugu. Yes. Uh, come very next week. Uh, all right. I will come. Uh, I will come. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I will come. I will come. Gentlemen, let us examine the cases before us. First, the case of um, Onyeka and SEC. We all saw how Onyeka swore an oath before Ugugu that he wasn't owing SEC any money. But we all know that. He lied! But uh, how do you know he lied? Ah, Osita, don't you have eyes? Look, the way... SEC reacted when Onyeka denied it, showed that Onyeka lied. But he still went on and swore the oath fearlessly and nonchalantly, which shows that he has no regard for Ogugu. He does not think Ogugu can kill him. <clears throat> Okongo, I think you're right. You are very correct. And we cannot afford to let people think that Ogugu is not powerful. Hmm? Ogugu has pronounced that Onyeka is guilty and he must die. Yes. Yes. 
Um, um, <clears throat> Osita, you will have to arrange for Onyeka's death. You will do it the Ogogo way. Do it in style. Hmm? Onyeka must die to prove that Ogogo is powerful. Hmm? I don't want you to leave any trace. It is now. That's good. Um, Ikon, um, my own is. Who would I shoot the compound? Apple, you must learn how and when to do your duty. Ah, you will shoot the gunpowder first thing tomorrow morning. Okay, okay. Hey, but what about the other cases? Like which one? Like Uchenna's master. That man, that arrogant man, drew me out of his house and told me that he does not believe in Ogugu. Same with Omega. Since he summoned him, he's yet to respond. Anyway, <clears throat> let's take it one at a time. Hmm? Ogugu will kill all of them one after the other. Hmm? First, Onyeka will die. Then we'll proceed to Omego. And you know Omego is a member of the Ogugu. So his death will prove to others that Ogugu is powerful. Exactly. Ogugu must be proven to be powerful. And so it must be. Hmm? Like I said, Osita, you must make sure there is no trace. It's Okay? Um, Apple, mm -hmm. you will sound <coughs> the gunpowder first thing tomorrow morning. I will not forget, Obuda. I will not. Um, <coughs> gentlemen, <coughs> may the day break. I'm here. Uh, I went to your house and your wife told me you were here at, your, at the site where you are supplying building materials. Anyway, I'm the one supplying them the materials. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a little business with them. That's very good. So you're looking for me. I hope all is well. Mm -hmm. All is well. I was actually going to your shop. But when your wife told me you are here, I decided to come here. One of my customers wants to buy some building materials, but on credit. Your boy will not be able to grant me credit facility. So I decided to come and meet you here. <laughs> <laughs> you see, that's no problem. Okay. You see, I'll be through here okay. in the next one hour. Oh. You know? So why don't you come to shop by uh, 3, 4? While we'll sit down and discuss this business of yours. I will be there. Okay. Between 3 and 4. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Hey, hey, Ezizi, Ezizi, please yeah. come. Have you heard from Onyeka of recent? Onyeka? Yes. What about him? You mean you've not heard? Heard what? Onyeka died some few days ago. What? This is not true. What killed him? Nobody knows. He said he died mysteriously. Hey! So, wonders they say shall never end. Huh? Oh. So, Ogugu, is that effective? Ah. Ogugu, what has Ogugu got to do with Onyeka's death? I took Onyeka to Ogugu's shrine concerning the money he was owing me, only for him to get there and swore falsely that he wasn't owing me. Hey! Hey! Hey, is Ogugu that powerful? Is Ogugu that effective? Hey. 
Hey. Anyway, please take me to Bubu. I will what? see you. I will see. see. I will see you. I will see you. Ah. Right eh? ah. I got him. This is Onyeka's wife, Ogechi, and this is his brother, Tony. Tony, Ezogubu, you are a man, and I'm sure you understand the wisdom of the deities and our ancestors. Your brother lied to Ogugu, and Ogugu killed him. <sighs> And Ogugu has its requirements, which if not met, a greater problem awaits your family. Uh, and what are these uh, requirements, Ezogu? The dead body of your brother belongs to Ogugu. Therefore, it should be brought here. Uh, all his money, his property, belong to Ogoku. Therefore, they should be brought here. Hey. 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 And after that, you will bring a white ram, two white fowls, and two black turtle doves to appease Ogoku. If not, Ogoku will continue to kill members of your family. Una anugo. <sighs> yes, Ezogu. What you have asked shall be done. Tony! You may go now. Dear, I didn't go anywhere. It's just that somebody brought a message here and the tone of the message really got me worried ever since. Message. So, what sort of message? Mm, he said he's from Ogugu. He said I should also tell you that they have shot the gunpowder for you. And I should start counting from now. Honey, what does that mean? I am finished. Honey, what is it? What is the problem? <laughs> no, it's not to panic, panic, panic about. Uh, you see, we have to get to the village between today and until this time. Hmm? So you'll leave with all my cars tomorrow morning. Mego, eh? I'm your wife. Talk to me, eh? What is it? What is the problem? Tell me. Listen, 
I am a businessman, and these things happen once in a while. Get ready for the journey tomorrow. say we should do? I don't know. I just don't know. The worst aspect is that Omega was a member of this shrine. Therefore, it was a fatal mistake he made by ignoring the summons of Ogo. But, Bikon Nai, what shall be done, eh? Bikon. Ogo demands that the body of Omega all his property and the sum of 10 million naira be brought to appease it. If not, Ogugu will continue to kill members of your family. Una anugo.
dear. There was a news flash on the television upstairs a few minutes ago that Chief Omego is dead. He died last night. Jesus. What killed him? According to them, what they said it was Ogugu that killed him. Ogugu. Ah. Well, my dear, let me ask you. Eh? Are you sure this Ogugu matter has ended with the way you handled it? Eh? That matter is over. And I don't intend to revisit it. Sweetheart, hmm. listen to me. Why I'm asking is because I am not in a hurry to become a widow. Look at me. How would Nobody I can make you a widow, my dear, without the will of God. Listen, have you heard the proverb which says that a river can never drown anybody except the person goes to the river or has something to do with it? Mm, yes, I've heard about it. Good. I have no business with Ogugu. I am not a member of his court. In fact, I have never been to his shrine. Ogugu cannot kill me because he doesn't know me. I don't know him, whatever form it is, and I don't believe in it. But what about the people Ogugu has killed? How could you explain that? <laughs> Ogugu does not kill anybody. In fact, it has no power to kill. It's the people. The so-called priests who go killing people in the name of Ogugu just to prove his potency. Okay. What if this priest sent people to kill you all in the name of Ogugu? Wouldn't that make me a widow now look at me now? What, what, what would I do? Eh? Think. Huh. I think you have a point. These people could really go and send hired assassins to kill me and say it's Ogugu. Uh -huh. I know what to do. I will inform the DPO immediately for police protection. My dear, you better do that first. From tomorrow, we will begin to handle Ezefio Okudi's case. All right. His refusal to answer Ogugu is an insult to us yeah. and unacceptable. Yeah. Yes. And it must be proven that Ogugu is not a thing to toy with. That right. is true. Okay? Very correct. Then he will learn how to respect a high priest of Ogugu. Exactly. That is exactly correct. Exactly. That is correct. Um, gentlemen, can we proceed? Let's go. You are welcome. Yes. You are right on time. Yes. You are going to treat yourself to a drink. Yes. And then sit down yes. and listen to what the Dr. Mwabwe is saying. Oh. Yeah. So you are welcome. Yeah. Yes. 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 welcome. Thank you. <laughs> yes. convince Chief Arthur to make me the governor of this state. And I told him that I am not the electoral commissioner. To which I replied, 
that he is greater than the electoral commissioner. I then told him that I have my candidate already. To which I replied that I will be more loyal to him than his candidate and that I am more credible to the electoral commissioner than his candidate. Finally, 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 I told him that I must, as a matter of fact, support my candidate. <laughs> to which I finally replied that I have always desired to be addressed as your excellency. Let him make his candidate my assistant and let me be the governor for just a few days and I will resign any time he wants me to. Oma! After one billion. Oma Oishi! After one billion. Thank you, thank you, thank yes. you very much, thank you. <laughs> Oma, that is where I decided that you must come and hear what I am hearing. Oma, hmm. what do you have to say? <sighs> Who introduced this man to you? Uh, my elder brother that works in the presidency sent him to me. Uh, but, Oma, uh, don't forget, we have our candidate already, yes. which is Dr. Emeka. Yes. Oma, um, please ask them to allow me run with your candidate. I desperately need that title of ex-governor. And I will resign any time he wants. Doctor, the problem is not becoming the governor. The problem is, are you willing and ready to abide by our agreement and be loyal to us? I swear I will be loyal to you. I swear. Loyal to us. Hmm. And if you go contrary to this, you resign. I swear, I will resign if I disobey. Yeah. After one billion. Thank you, thank you, thank After you. After one billion. Owa <laughs> Oishi. Yeah. One more question for you, doctor. Are you willing to go with us to Okubishirai to take an oath of allegiance? That is not a problem, Owa. I will go with you to a Google shrine and swear. <sighs> After one million. One billion, please. <laughs> After one billion. Thank you. No. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um, since your brother recommended this man to you, uh, he must be thrust toward you. Okay. And since he has accepted to go with us to go, to take an oath of allegiance, we must have to trust him. Omar <laughs> Oishi. After one million. One billion, please. After one billion. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, you know me. I have never doubted you. At all. And I've always believed in you. Yes. I will take your advice. Doctor, stand up and shake me. Mm, shake me. <laughs> You're welcome. In fact, you have just passed the first test. Yes, we are at We are at this. Yes. Out of one video. Go and tell them. Out of one Yes. Out of one Oi. Oma Oi. Out of one video. I'm running. This is not running. Doctor, you're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. And I meet Ezigo Kuli. Sir Ezigo Kuli. Ezigo Kuli. Hello, welcome. Sir. Thank, thank you very much. He's a knight in the church. Oh, I see. And that's Dr. Mwabeze. He's aspiring to be the governor of the state. Oh, really? <laughs> nice to meet you. Same here, sir. All right, sit down. So, how is politics, doctor? Father, that's exactly why I came to see you. My political godfathers want me to go and swear an oath of allegiance with them before a shrine. That's abominable, Doctor. They say without that, they wouldn't make me governor. And Father, you know, I have so much to offer this state. And um, which shrine is this? The Ogugu Shrine. What? Ogugu Shrine again? Have you had any dealings with them before? 
Yes. Actually, that was what we were discussing before you came in. But um, does it mean that this Ogugu deity is powerful? For where, Reverend? Ogugu is powerless. If Ogugu kills anybody, it must be its member. All other killings are being done by assassins sent by the priests. Are you sure of that? More than sure. In fact, I am currently doing battle with them. And they will never prevail over me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Um, doctor, I advise you don't go to any shrine to take an oath with anybody. All right, Father. If your political godfather wants to sponsor you in this governorship election, he should learn to trust you. Mm. He should learn to believe in you instead of going the fetish way. This is idolatry and it's unchristian. Besides, it's even the people that will vote for you. You're correct, Father. You're correct. Thank you so much. I'm very happy I came to speak with you. At least I'm, I'm relieved now. Okay. Let's just take a word of prayer to ask God to help us in all these things that we are going through. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Bring your son. Sit down. <clears throat> Doctor Wabwezi. Stand up. Step forward. Take this offer and swear by it. I, Dr. Mwabweze, swear by this offer that I shall be loyal to my godfathers if made governor by them, that I shall never disobey them, and that I shall resign whenever they want me to resign, otherwise let Ogugu strike me dead. May Ogugu touch your chest. Ezemo, he has won.
sit down. Dr. Mwabweze. Yes, this piece of paper is your resignation undertaking. Sign it. Are you satisfied? We are very satisfied. Dr. Mwabwezi, yes, may I warn you that Ogugu kills those who swear by it falsely or fail to honor their agreements. I shall not default. Good. You may go. <laughs> Dr. Mwabwezi. Yes. yes. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. You can see it's done. <laughs> Very <it's> simple. <laughs> mm. That's good. That's Thank good. you. A bit of my godfather. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Congrats. So. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, what can I say from what I've seen? <laughs> I own the government house. Yes. <laughs> After one million. Hmm? One million, please. After one million. One million. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's very good. You don't have any problem. Yes. Everything is done. Yes. yes. <laughs> this is after one billion talking. Okay. After one billion. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. Let's go. Thank you, thank you. So you we should see. Account. Good. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I own 
Success and the swearing in as governor of the state. Good, beautiful, beautiful. Well, uh, Your Excellency, as you can see, and as we all can see, work has started. That's true. Good, good. So we have brought to you a list of those to be met commissioners in the state. And as a matter of fact, we are scrutinizing it with your deputy, and he approved of it on your behalf. <laughs> Omar, mm -hmm. please give Your Excellency the list. My God, fathers, I cannot say no to you. Yes. <laughs> you. <You're> beautiful. <laughs> it's just that I would like to bring in some of my people. People I have worked with. People I trust and I believe can perform. And then mix them up with these ones. Your Excellency, please and please don't tamper with that list. Don't omit a single name. Make all of them commissioners. That's one. Then two, we're going to sit down and discuss on how we're going to pay back all the money I spent on you during the election. Is that understood? Uh, Chief, concerning the money, as soon as the federal government pays their location to the state, 
will start paying back on a monthly basis a certain amount of money until the whole thing is retired. No! Your Excellency! Capital, no! I want all my money in bulk. No deduction. As a matter of fact, when once the federal government pays you, you're going to pay into my account three billion naira and nothing less. But Chief, that is going to cripple the state. There will be nothing left to develop the state to carry out the programs of government. How does that concern me? What is my business in that? Your Excellency, maybe I should remind you. I am sure you quite understand the meaning of agreement. I want all my money in bulk. It will be very wrong for us to wash our dirty linen outside. Your Excellency, don't let too many ears hear this. Good night, Your Excellency. <coughs> Your Excellency, I hope you've not forgotten the oath to get up with You know what that means. Don't and don't tamper with this list. Good night. to suffocate me. They are everywhere. Are you still convinced about these reforms you want to carry out in this state? Yes, Father. I am totally convinced. Then go on. Go on. The church will rally round and support you all the way. Uh, but, Father, the Ogugu Shrine... Where is your faith? Where is your faith, Dr. Mabweze? Have you not read your Bible? Psalm 115, verse 4 to 8. The idols are work of men's hands. Mouth they have, but do not speak. They have eyes, they do not see. They that trust in them are just like them. Ogugu cannot kill you. However, I think that the time has come to expose the works of the devil through you. Go on. Go on. Do you see that? All the things we discussed and agreed with the governor, he is not doing any of them. Instead, he is going about flamboyantly doing his own thing. Even the list for commissioners we gave him, he abandoned it and now put his own people there. Hmm. I am disappointed. I am totally disappointed. Well, since he has refused to abide by the rules, I suggest we remove him. How? How? How do we remove him? 
when the man is proving very very stubborn even the last time i reminded him to get ready to resign for his deputy he bluntly refused he said he is the one the people voted for that shouldn't bother you that shouldn't bother you have you forgotten you took an oath of this man let's go to cook and get him killed You don't allow such things to bother you. I think you have a point there. Yeah. Oh, you can go. Who do you have to say? You must be Mr. Chopin. Yes, yes. Please sit down. Thank you, Excellency. Your Excellency, Ezebu Kohli said I should tell you that the Reverend Father asked him to send me. Very good. Did he tell you the problem? Yes, he did. The best way to neutralize them is to infiltrate them. Join them, find out their strengths and weaknesses, then we can destroy them. Can you do that? It will take some time, Your Excellency, but it can be done. Very good. If you can do this for me, I will do anything for you. As long as that Ubugu gang is there, they will not allow me to relax and rule this state as I ought to. In fact, let me tell you the truth. Since I became governor, this seat has been too hot for me. I have not rested, and it's only by the grace of Almighty God that I'm still alive today. But I believe that together, and with God on our side, we can rid this state of that evil gang. That is not a problem, Your Excellency. Um, Your Excellency, I must keep far away from you as much as possible. There must not be any further interactions between us as from today. And then, um, if you agree with me, we can use the Reverend Father as our contact. No problem. No problem at all. Then, do have a nice day, Your Excellency. Ajiko Obuda Ezemo Take the fire of Obudu from his hands Ogugu Miri Ogugu And drink. Drink. Take this offer. 
use your left hand. Raise it. No. <laughs> See who is here. Oh wow, Yoko. Ezogugu. Oh wow, Yoko. Ezogugu. Art. Art of billion. Yes. Art of billion. Ezogugu. I give you. Ezogumba. No, no. Yeah. No, no. No, no. So what brings you? The governor. The governor is not keeping to the agreement for which he swore an oath here. Mm. So we want Ogugu to visit him and get him killed. <laughs> so that the deputy governor can take over. Out of one billion. One billion, please. Out of one billion. <laughs> Am I correct? Yes. Omar, you are very, very correct. It's Ogugu. That is why Ato one billion is here. Mm. The governor had defaulted. Mm. And he has to die. Yes. He must die. Onwa. Mm -hmm. yes, you know how Ogugu strikes its defaulters. You are not new to these things. But you see, the governor is too protected by the paraphernalia of office that Ogugu cannot get close enough to strike him a death blow. Ezo Ogugu, mm. we are here to find a solution to our problem. What do you advise we should do? Insiders. Simple. Use insiders to remove the governor from office. You know we have a senior police officer who is also a member of the Ogugu court. Use him to remove the security around the governor. Make the governor impotent security-wise. Then the strong hand of Ogugu will be long enough to strike the governor dead. Simple. Correct. Oh, yeah. Things do happen. Ah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. After one million. One million, please. <laughs> After one billion. Yes, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Oh, wow. After. So, you took me to a deity that has no potency, no power whatsoever. <laughs> After one million. One million, please. Out of one PS. Yes, yes, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> has power. And we are his power. <laughs> interesting. Very, very interesting. Then in that case, let us call the police officer. Let him come around. Let's start arranging on how to remove the governor. Let me talk to him. Oh, you know that. I trust you very much, and I have never doubted you. As a matter of fact, I want you to plan a civilian coup. <laughs> After one million. One billion, please. <laughs> After one billion. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. The governor is gone. Mm. Let us chase to that. <laughs> Let us start the arrangement immediately. <laughs> After you, good. <laughs> Hello, Your Excellency. This is Chuku. Yes, Chuku. Do you have any information for me? Yes, Your Excellency. I just wanted to let you know that the deity does not have the power to kill you, as everyone believed. That I have found out. Go on, I'm listening. The killings are being done by the messengers and the priests. That I'm still understanding, Your Excellency. Once I have more information, I'll let you know, sir. Good. So what do I do now? For now, Your Excellency, 
you have to be careful of those who are with you and around you in the office. In what ways specifically? I do not know exactly, Your Excellency, but they might try to kidnap you in order to assassinate you. Kidnap me? I am a governor. How can you kidnap a governor? Your Excellency, I have warned you. Hello, Father. Yeah. Good day. Well, have you seen the dailies today? I was just reading through the newspapers. Yeah. I saw it. I tried calling the governor, but he wasn't responding. Well, there, there's no problem. There's no problem. We have just spoken to him right now, assuring him that the church is solidly behind him. Oh. Thank God. Thank you, Father. Uh, yes, I, I will be in touch. <laughs> yes, Father. Bless you, too. Ah, Chuku, my brother, I have been waiting for this call. Your Excellency, I have finished my investigations and I'm ready to bust open this scam. It's a high level racket of fraud. Your Excellency, what do I do now? I have written a petition to the Inspector General of Police using your name. And he has instructed the Commissioner of Police to act. So you have to go and see the Commissioner. Your Excellency, what did you write in the petition, sir? Well, um, ritual killings, human trafficking, sacrifices and all of that. Your Excellency, it is worse than that. I have to take the place there myself. Ah, Chuku, my brother. I am very grateful to you. You don't know the good thing you have done for the people of this state. I'm always willing to help, sir. Thank you very much. Please go and see the Commissioner. He's waiting for you. I'll do that, sir. Have a nice day, Your Excellency. So, that's how I came into the picture and the role I've played so far. The rest, you know. Hmm. <laughs> So, what happens now? Yes, um, we're going to arrest every priest in that shrine. And we're taking all the scores, everything we've seen, as an exhibit, with the exception of the two old men, because of their age. The rest you get to know. Well, um, it's a pity that time. Oh, my God. 
hope you know your work is not finished yet. What do you know by that? There are nine other shrines in Ajiko that you have not seen yet. And they are more bizarre and gone than this one. Do you know what you are saying? Of course I do. Of course. But then, there is another thing. Let us go. Jesus Christ. <laughs>